What's up YouTube? All right, today we're making potato stew with sausage or sausage and potato stew. However you want to say it, it's fine. This, this is delicious. So this is my wife's recipe. So she's actually going to make it. I'm going to peel the potatoes for her. Peel about a half a five pound bag of potatoes is pretty much what I did. Um, peel them and rinse them. And then my wife's going to dice them while I cut the sausage. I cut two packs of uh, two pounds of sausage into pretty probably about quarter inch pieces all right I have one onion it's pick sweet frozen but I use one onion half a bell pepper half a about maybe one full celery stalk and then um, some parsley if you have it garlic add all that into the pot my wife adds the sausage with the vegetables it's a little unorthodox for me but it always comes out tasting delicious so who am I to argue so you just once you add the sausage just keep stirring see she uses the the uh, the vegetables to to brown along with the sausage and it's it's caramelizing really good right now uh, this is also gonna make it have a good color uh, when it comes time to make the gravy so you want to give that a good stir stir it continuously I think she probably stirred for about uh, four or five times in about 25 minutes time it's uh, about on medium high if you can see that all right there's the diced potatoes I'm gonna go ahead and add those uh, to the pot as well then stir that real good yeah, it's again this is a bigger this is a larger pot we have we have six so yeah I mean we have four kids that eat like eight kids would so this is a pretty pretty large pot but just you know do your best to stir it and get it mixed in then come back with a little bit of water to deglaze the bottom then come back with more you want to cover the potatoes by about about a half an inch as long as they're covered though they're good because these potatoes are going to break down uh, as you saw in the picture at the beginning so give that a good stir so yeah one thing I didn't mention earlier was that I used russet potatoes uh, I find that russet potatoes they, they they mush up a lot better than like a red potato red potatoes are more waxy this is the new seasoning um, what I do, I buy it by the gallon, so then I transfer it into the seasoning container. Uh, it's an old red pepper container, so it doesn't really have a very good label on it. Go ahead and stir. If I had to guess, I'd say about, for this size pot, two and a half tablespoons of seasoning. Maybe two. I'd go with two. Do two tablespoons of seasoning. So this is the reason why I love russet potatoes. As you can tell, this is starting to break down really good. Now this is gonna, um, it's gonna thicken up as it sits a little bit as the water starts to evaporate out. So you keep it at the consistency you want. This is a really good consistency to serve over rice or bread. But try it with bread. It's surprisingly it's better than it sounds, um, but it's also really good over rice. Again, once it's we covered it, we let it boil out a little bit more. This is pretty much the finished product. Um, we're going to stir this, and this is almost pretty much ready to serve. Yeah, as you can see, the water evaporated out, um, and you can really see the, the potatoes now, uh, the sausage, really good over rice. As you see the rice in the background, this is what it looks like after I mixed it. If this video helped you guys, please subscribe to my channel. I love making these videos. Apologize for being so late on this one, but... I will have more to come. Thanks and have a blessed day.